Hello, my name is Peter Dean, CEO of Clover Valley Media, and today I'm here with Billy. And um, Billy, uh, please tell us your story. I know you called us out here to to show you show us what you had um, going on with this electrical over this this electrical unit that has been installed by some local. Um, utility company and the flooding it is causing onto your property and the uh, pollution the electrical pollution that has now overcome your house and you have not been compensated for this whatsoever Billy wow. Billy I'd, I'd like you to tell your story to the people of Arizona on, on what happened to you go ahead I bought this land it was vacant land I come down here on a little errand I love the area so much I decided to sell my place in Wickenburg, Arizona that I owned for six years prior to this one. And I took what I had left after paying my legal fees from a different case in the appellate court. Ended up going in my favor. They had to drop a bunch of charges that was false charges against me. I wanted somewhere new to live. I came down here. I bought land. What I could afford only had 5000 left to put down on the place. I put it down legal legitimate I, 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 I mean with without all your money so, issues going on I mean let's let's get to the crux of two years ago what happened when this uh, yeah, electrical so, unit was installed on your property that you were taking care of and maintaining as your own well I was here four years five about four four and a half years and I noticed that the name changed on the property next door and SSVEC got a hold of it and bought it and built the substation, which is 90,000 volts, 220 feet from my bedroom window. It buzzes inside my house. They took out the creek bed where the water normally flowed, and they took out the creek bed, and the water flowed north over on top of my property and partially on the neighboring property. So it just forced, how around, far, how forced far, around itself. Yeah, how far, Billy, is that... Um utility plant from from where you you call 220 feet from where I lay my head 220 feet so what is that um, that's not even a full fo football field or um, is it no that's about a full football field right th right I'm not sure how much a football field is but 300 I've measured it and it's three two, from the center row of the transformer bay yeah. all the way to my bedroom window it's 220 300 feet, feet. no is 220 it that is so that's even shorter than a football field and field. I hear it at night in my bedroom and it wait, keeps me awake at night. So I what are you even, worried about with this? Oh, what plus is, the fallout, the, the electromagnetic field that's around it. EPA sent me information on this. Causes Lou Gehrig's disease, adult brain tumors, adult leukemia, adult cancer, child, child cancer. And I'm supposed to just live here and they can put that there and just take my land. It's a taking. It's a legal taking because I can't stay here without affecting my health. And what I found out that the EMF electromagnetic field energy field around it they have a gauss meter a milligauss meter and this thing's buzzing without even being charged up to run a hundred thousand extra homes in the neighborhood and it's buzzing this much now and i'm just afraid to even think what it's doing to me as well as buzzing when they put a hundred thousand homes onto it to run and then they sell power back to aps and back to ssvec this was built by sulfur springs valley electric cooperative they lied on their permits and said there wouldn't be no noise across property lines. They said there wouldn't be no no noise across property lines, that there wasn't no washes or gullies or creek beds within 300 feet of their operation, which was a bald-faced lie. Their telephone poles is in the, in the middle of the creek. One of them is rotted out about that big, and it's all rotted out in the middle, and just outside edges are there. And there were other poles that row a trans or that row of poles is SSVEC and they have numbers on them and I've already filmed from the top of the hill up there all the way down about a mile and a half and this is what I got left now out of six years of paying taxes and paying I got fifty six thousand dollars in this place yeah well why don't why don't um I, I, I see definitely there's a health concern here and you have not been compensated at all and you were living here already when they put in this utility yeah and no agreement was made no money exchange they said there was, now this i haven't talked to my mm -hmm. lawyer in prescott about yet which i'm going to go do here shortly um when there's a co-op involved 
it's different I think because I found a letter in the file saying asking the county attorney if a co-op was exempt from all rules and regulations like a regular utility company is owned by a corporation yeah that the co-op they was asking I never did get an answer on that whether that was exempt I don't wouldn't expect an honest answer from the county anyway they haven't given me many yeah and when I have had them out here and put them on the spot and I had Channel 4 News out here they said oh the, they, the county let us do everything we we everything was signed off on we got everything done completely correct it's like is that why there's a foot of mud inside the substation all through there also well, yeah, not right only right through my house why don't we take a walk over there and you could tell us about the flooding problem they made modifications in here some but all the water came flushing through there coming across this land this higher land to the right right here all land in the background there's water coming across and it, w it failed to go over there across the dam and drop off there the shelf that they built and it all came rushing through here and rushing through in this field next here and flooding on top of me right where we're standing there's about six inches of water flow through here the Yavapai County Sheriff was out here also. And this is this is where through. the old creek was? Yeah, the creek bed runs, still runs up that way. And I've got it all filmed, which I'll give you a disc. I've got it all filmed, even showing the telephone pole in the middle of the row of poles. One of them's put almost right in the bottom of the creek. And therefore, that's why it's all rotted out in the center. So there's only about two inches all the way around that's not rotted out of the telephone pole. And the very one next to it that they replaced it with has got a number, and that's SSVEC's electric company, Sulphur Springs Valley Electric Cooperative. And you have pictures, correct? Yes, I got about 600 pictures. About when it flooded? Yep. And nobody and when said... they was building this and everything. Uh -huh. They were said they was going to have meetings, but they never did. Huh. And then they said, oh, no, it's exempt from half and half meetings. But first, they told everybody, oh, there'll be some meetings. So... You know, this is what I got left. A muddy mess when it floods and can't get out my driveway sometimes to get water and I haul my own water because I haven't got my well in yet. But, you know, when you're developing a place from little money and you're poor, you do the best you can, right? Yep. So here I sat. But now I got my health issues to worry about. Am I going to get cancer or some of those dreadful diseases? Look, at, would you just take focus on that right there? Maybe step up on there where you can see that big transformer. Yeah, I see it. Man, that thing's like a <laughs> Frankenstein. And when yeah. they, if they ever have an emergency out here, and they're out here for hours and hours, all them lights, there's three there, there's three more there, there's three more over there. That's nine of them big giant lights. Oh, so you're getting a lot of light at night, too. Well, they, they, I've never seen them on yet, but wow. my neighbor in the back told me that would be just like lighting up a football field with nine of them big sodium yeah. vapor lights. So you're, you're getting a lot of light pollution to sleep. Well, no, they're not on yet. Oh, they're not on yet. But in emergencies. But listen to all oh, the fans. Oh, okay. Can so you they're still off. Okay. Yeah. The county swore there wouldn't be no noise But still, that's, the that's, 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 uh, there has to be something that, you know, somebody out there can do for you. I just went so, and filed a complaint with the county to make them put in some sound um in what county Sound are you barriers. in? Cochise County Planning and Zoning is the ones who okay, okayed everything along with us. And I've been to Pat Call. He's a county board of supervisor member. He tells me, oh, they're going to listen. But, but, but don't you want to, uh, aren't you trying to get out of here? Well, is I'm having to get out of here. I'm not going to stay Well, that's what I'm saying. Cancer. So why even worry about a wall? Well, for the noise in the time being, if I end up... I oh, if, if you be, have to wait a while? Yeah, because I'm getting back surgery and I'm going to be laid up for six months to a year. All right. So I got to have this radiation going inside my house every night, every day, every minute, every hour while I'm laid up for the next six months to a year. Wow. And that sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm the scene reporting from... Palominas, Arizona. Later. Brown's house. All right. My, oh, name is, my name is Billy Brown, date of birth 8563, social 526-517581. I okay uh, Peter Dean to do what he wishes with this tape, and I hereby okay it 100% with no recourse to anybody involved on the other end. Thank you very much. Thank you, Billy.